I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. So obviously, you know, I would need way, way more time to perfectly explain why I think what I think. But I, there's so many other videos that explains what I'm going to say and they do it better. And I'll just put some of them on the screen. They're all there. I'm going to try to explain why The Last of Us 2 is one of the greatest video games ever made in about like six minutes or so. Okay, so I don't have a script or anything, so <laughs> this is really going to be a really rough video. Um, I'm just going to say my experiences of it. The game put us in a position to feel and understand exactly literally exactly it's pinpoint precision what the other side is is going through and their understanding to it we see bad guys all the time in movies and all we get from them to understand what they're going through is a little quick backstory montage or or them saying a little speech about what they had to go through and yeah that's fine but it's way different for video games the thing about video games is you they put you literally they put you in the shoes of the character which is amazing so the fact that naughty dog took advantage of that by literally putting us in the villain's shoes throughout all of her highs and lows seeing her dad die um seeing her fall out with owen all of that shit all of that we we seen all of that it's amazing it's amazing i honestly think people don't like the fucking game because it's just not what they wanted spoilers for squid game if song woo just won like if song woo um killed i forgot her name yolk killed her 67 and then just <laughs> like like gi -hoon ran to him and someone would just like trip that nigga stab the nigga in the neck game over we would all be pissed off right because it's not what we wanted we wanted gi -hoon to win because he was the good guy he was the mc right but song Wu was a better player number 67 was a better player i'm not i'm gonna be honest bro gi -hoon was carried that nigga was carried he was bro Ali saved him in the first game. In the second game, it, that was him. I'm not gonna lie, that was him. He did that. That was him. But Song Wu, Song Wu knew. <laughs> he 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 already knew what the game was, bro. What, what was the third game? Tug of War. Song Wu saved that nigga life and the old man. Marbles. Old man saved that nigga life. Come on, bro. Um, the glass, the glass shit. Song Wu saved that nigga. Song Wu should have won, but. Nobody wanted him to win because he's the bad guy. And if he would have won, everybody would have hated the show because he's a bad guy in our eyes. But to him, he's just doing what he got to do to survive. Nigga, this is a squid game. We, we not no happy-go-lucky and shit, bro. We're, we're all going to die, bro. It's only going to be one of us at the end of it. But the thing about The Last of Us is that wasn't even Abby's thing. She wasn't like a mean person at all. She was only mean in the parts where she needed to be mean. But Ellie is a darker fucking character, and I get why people hate it. I love Ellie too, I love Joel too. And it's sad to see a character, a little child, that we love snarky remarks and saying bad words, oh my god, it's so cute, turn into this monster. It's because of Joel. <laughs> I'm not saying it's his fault he shut up the hospital, well, even though it is. I'm saying she couldn't get over Joel. After she lost Joel, she turned into that monster. She she felt like she couldn't love anyone anymore. That's why she left Dina. Because she felt like she couldn't love anyone. It's just like another guy I know who lost his daughter in the beginning of the zombie apocalypse. And he felt like he couldn't love anybody anymore. So he turned into a monster and did all this ruthless, crazy shit. Until... He finally found love with Tess, and then she fucking died. And then he finally found love with this little girl who, who doesn't have anyone else. It's amazing. It's a beautiful story. 
and for to see all that shit go to shit is very fucking sad but it's very emotional and very realistic the world isn't perfect bro i think we should have seen from the beginning where his daughter just got shot not even by a zombie just a cop we should have seen that from the beginning that this world isn't a happy go lucky tale where everything is going to work itself out in the end it's the last of us the last of us humans this is the end <laughs> axler <laughs> Thank you.